What's up guys, this is Cody here. And today I'm gonna to be showing you the top 20 free tweaks that have just been released in Cydia. Now before we get started, one thing I do wanna mention here is the theme that I'm running. And this is not a free theme, it's not part of the video really, it's just what I'm using right now. And this is a theme called Primo Glyphs. So if you wanna get this, this is actually a paid theme. It comes with a lot of different stuff. I mean, you can even get uh, Zeppelin logos. You also have this widget right here in addition to some other widgets, but you can see that it has very good icon support. I think it has like over 400 icons. So it looks really nice and I like it. So if you wanna check that out, then definitely do so. Again, obviously it's not free, but let's go ahead and get started with the 20 free tweaks. So one that I'm using right here, you can see that I just have basically a red circle for my notification badge. That is a tweak called hide badge text. So obviously what it's gonna do is hide all that text so you're not gonna see the numbers in your badges. The next thing you'll notice is right up here in the status bar is that I have a temperature right there next to my uh, battery percentage. And that is due to a tweak called battery temperature. So you can see exactly what your temperature of your battery is at all times. Next up, we have a tweak called push to kill. Now what this tweak does is basically allow you to quickly close out of all running background applications in your app switcher. So all you need to do is just open up your app switcher here. And then to enable this, all you do is press on any app card here. And then once you let go, it's actually going to close out of all applications just like that. Now you can actually set this up to where it'll automatically dismiss as well. So it would just basically bring you back to the home screen without you having to tap right there. Next up, we have a tweak called Video Loop. Now, what this tweak does is basically allow you to easily loop all your videos in your camera roll. Now, to enable this, you're actually gonna have to go into your settings and then go into photos and camera, as you can see I've done right here. But it's basically just uh, right down here, photos and camera, tap on that. Then you're gonna see a toggle right here to loop your videos. So once you have that toggled on, then you can loop all of your videos. So if we go in here and we just start playing one, you can see that this is only about two seconds long or so. So when I loop it, pretty amazing. So that's a loop video if you wanna check that out for yourself. Next up, we have a tweak called No Alert Loop. So basically what this tweak does is prevent websites from opening up multiple tabs you know, automatically while you're searching around in Safari. So this has happened to me a couple of times, but it wasn't something that I could test because I couldn't find a website that actually did it. But I'm going to assume that it works. And uh, hopefully if you guys try this out, maybe you guys can find a website and let me know in the comments that I could actually test this out. But it is definitely annoying when that happens because it's just going into tab view and opening up several different web pages. But hopefully this is going to prevent that from happening. Next up, we have a tweet called Skippy. Now what this does is allow you to quickly navigate through applications like your contacts, your phone, or music applications just by quickly swiping your finger through the alphabetical list that you usually have on the right hand side. So just to kind of show you what I mean here, uh, you can't really see the alphabet right over here, but it is there, it's just a really light font. But if you're not themed, then you might be able to see it right here. But basically, when you swipe across, you'll see that you get all of those letters right there, allowing you to know what particular letter you're on. So it's just basically just makes things just a little bit easier in order to get to the specific contact that you're looking for. Next, we have a tweak called Shift Cycle. So what this does is allow you to change the upcase or lowercase of your selection. So you can see right here that I've just typed out, hi there, what are you doing today? So we're gonna select all of this. And then all you have to do is hit the Shift key right here and you'll see that it changes it all to caps. If we hit it again, everything to lowercase, one more time and it's going to upcase the first letter of every single word. And then if we hit it one last time, then it's gonna do the exact same thing except get rid of the spaces there. So if we hit one last time, this is just gonna go back to the original. So this is going to make things a whole lot easier if you edit text a lot and sometimes you're looking to you know, change the capitalization of your text. Next, we have a tweet called Quick Dictation. So if you open up your Messages app here, normally when you tap on this, it's going to start recording audio. But with this tweak, if you just tap on this, then it's going to start immediately recording everything that you say by dictating it, just like that. Next is no update all. So for whatever reason, you don't wanna accidentally update all of your applications on your device at the same time, then you can download this tweet called no update all, and you can see that it's going to get rid of the no update all button right there. So you can't tap on that 
you'll have to manually tap on these update buttons right here. So if you tap on that, you can see that it's obviously disabled. Now, nobody really likes the volume HUD in iOS 8, just because normally when you're watching a video and you wanna turn up the volume, it pops up right in the middle and it's annoying. So you can see right here with a tweak called minimal HUD, if we hit the volume up button, you can see that it's just right over here in the right hand side. So if we just turn the volume down, turn the volume up, you can see very minimal right over there on the side of the uh, device. Now if we go into the settings here and we go into minimal HUD, you'll notice that all you have to do is enable this. You also have a couple of themes. So we have iOS stock, you can change this to warm, rainbow, translucent gray. So if we tap on rainbow here, you'll also notice that you can change the location. So we can put this wherever we'd want. We can even put it at the top. So if we put it up at the top and rainbow, now you'll see when I do this that it's going to make those changes on the fly. Now here we have a tweak called charge pulse. So you can see that I'm charging my device now and you'll see right up here that it's pulsing that battery. So as long as you have a battery indicator up there, it's basically going to quote unquote pulse it or kind of fade it in and out. So that's basically all that this tweak does. Now here we have a tweak called airplane signal which was just released and what it does is basically turn on airplane mode if you have a low signal string. So you can see you can enable this uh, in order to turn on airplane mode at a signal strength below 20 to 40 or even 60. So I'm not quite sure why you would want this tweak. I mean maybe it's uh, maybe there's some utility to it that I just don't understand because I hardly ever want my device on airplane mode. But if it is something you want to check out then definitely let me know why in the comments. Next up is a really cool tweak and one that I like a lot and it's called BIM, which stands for Browser in Messages. So you can see right here, if we go ahead and open up our messages, if you get a link or hyperlink in your messages, if you just tap on that, then it's going to open up a browser within your messages. So you can refresh it, you can close out of it to go directly back into your messages right here. Uh, you also have your back and forward buttons. And if you wanna open up the application itself, then you just tap on that and it's going to open it up directly. So a really cool tweak. Highly recommend checking this out, especially since it's free. Next up, we have a really awesome tweak and it's called Quick Swipe. Now, one thing I really like about TweetBot is when you open up uh, a photo or a video in TweetBot, you can see it's going to open this up, but I can just swipe it away just like that and get rid of it, which is really nice. But one thing that you can't do in Safari is that exact feature. So this is actually going to give you a very similar uh, type feature right here within Safari. So when you're playing a video in Safari, let's just say we start playing this, you can see if we just swipe down, then it's going to close it. So you don't have to actually tap on the video and then tap on uh, done in order to close out of the video. So in my opinion, definitely a must have tweak. Now next up we have a tweak called Adaptive Bar. Now I had to change my theme for this just because in Primo, the theme I was just using, it was uh, very similar in the color that it was using for all the applications just because all the icons kind of were the same color. So uh, you can see right here that what this does is if we open up an application, uh, it's gonna take the color of the app icon and use that as the top and bottom bars right here, as you can see. So if we open up uh, settings, you'll see that it's gray. If we open up, let's just say the uh, iTunes right here, you'll see that we have purple top and bottom. So that's really all that this tweak does. It is kind of cool, but your mileage may vary depending on what theme you're actually using. Next up, we have a tweak called Mizo. Now this is one that I actually saw was requested on Reddit, but you can see what it does right here. If I'm sending an iMessage, then it's going to change the top bar right here to a blue color. But if it's text message, then it's going to be green, as you can see right there. And that's really all that this does, just kind of adds a little bit of flair to your messages app. Here we have another way to kill all of the applications running in the background, a really simple way called grab killer. So in your settings, you'll get a little toggle right here. So just toggle it on. And then at this point, all you have to do is swipe up on your control center. And then once you tap that grabber, then it's gonna close out of all the running applications uh, in the background here. So if we swipe up, tap on that, you can see that it closes out of all the applications right there in a quick and simple way. Here we have a tweak called Cortana Loader. So basically it's just going to theme your loader. Now this is a Winterboard theme, so you just have to enable it within Winterboard, but you can kind of see what it does, especially in Cydia right here. We get that loader right there that's basically the Cortana Loader. And you'll also see it, it's going to pop up here for just a second uh, right there. So it's basically just going to replace your loader with a Cortana Loader. 
Now the next tweak power color is actually kind of hard to show just because I have to drain the entire battery on my device in order to show it. But you can see right here that it's starting to get a lighter green color uh, right here, more of a yellow color right now in the battery indicator. And that's due to power color. So what this tweak does is basically uh, allows you to change the color of your battery as it continues to drain. This is all customizable within the settings here. So you can see we have power color. All you wanna do is just enable this and you can also tap on advanced and go into your custom colors here. So if you wanna change this up completely, then you definitely can. But you can see right here when it's at the top you know, five percent or so then it's going to be really green but as it goes down it's going to get more red so that's all that this tweet does basically showing you uh, that your battery is getting low in a more visual way now if you ever start to type a message and then get distracted and forget to send it this is actually a tweet that's going to remind you so this is called Mia all you want to do is enable this and then you can set up your notification options right here so you can change the custom title if you want to and then you change your delay time so how long do you want to wait before you're actually reminded that you need to send this message off so let's just say that we're going to wait you know less than five seconds here so when we go back we're going to go into our messages and then let's just say that I was going to type something here to Leo. So I'm gonna type LOL and I'm gonna get out. So now let's go ahead and make sure that do not disturb is turned off. And you can see you forgot to send a message to Leo Garcia. His name's Garcia, but I was just messing with him. <laughs> but at the same time, this is a really cool tweak, especially if you forget to send messages every once in a while. So that's all I have for this video. Let me know what you guys think about everything in the comments below. I also have a really fun uh, video coming up right now that I'm working on. Hopefully you guys are gonna enjoy it. I'm sure you will. But of course, if you wanna see more videos just like this, as well as everything tech related, make sure you subscribe. All right guys, until next time, peace.